I was totally chilling in my chair, just typing away in the chat. When I glanced up at the clock and realized I had like 30 seconds before the show started. I was like, yeah, man, let's just, just type away. This Me. is going to be a really good show. I just sit here and type in chat. Really good strum, actually. Really good strum doing it that way, right? <laughs> just like, It's fine for the live chat. They'll have Me. a good experience. Uh, but for everyone else, it's probably going to be pretty shitty. Pretty shitty. I don't think the audio listeners... Uh, would have the same experience, Me. do you guys? I don't think they'd have the same experience if we were to play that way. You just get class for this? That I don't recommend that. I'm, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I don't. Me. <laughs> I don't recommend. Please don't do that. <laughs> Learn the stuff, man. Learn the stuff, and then re then you get to pick and choose which of Me. the stuff you actually never use again in your in any form of life. Although, pop quiz, hot shots. Today, we talked about osmosis. Did Me. we not? No, you dropped it in to sound smart like some nerdy pleb. I will explain water molecules to any bitch. <laughs> yeah, just ask me and I'll lay it down. What an asshole. I'm injured, me. boys. I'm covered in scratches. Like, my back's got a really big one. Has it? Yeah, it has. <laughs> I didn't feel it at the time, but I'm all scratched up. I look like I've, uh, I've been having... Uh, it's a subtle word for it. Looks like I've been fucking Vigorous a bear. fucking. A bear. Like, good fucking. Yeah, a sharp nailed bear has been clawing at me. But luckily, no, Andy didn't scratch me. We've been filming some little final scenes for the Legacy video. You remember I got that? to kick me in the balls. You did get to kick me in the balls. As, as is now tradition in the Legacy closing moments, I get hit in the balls. Yes. Why did that become tradition? Why did that become tradition? I have no idea why that became tradition, but SNL. it is now tradition uh, that I need to get hit in the balls every time we make a legacy video. To the point where after we turned the camera off, Andy ran over and went, really sorry if that actually hit you in the balls because it felt like it The did. second one was fucking good, mate. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry if that hit you, but it didn't, luckily. It was fine. I sold it well, uh, which, I mean, masterclass for me on selling it correctly. <laughs> I suppose. I suppose. Yeah, the boys. I don't need them anymore. They can go. I'm done with them. <laughs> I'm finished with this. It's dragging this chicken skin handbag around. I'm done with it. I'm finished with it. Well, that's not why you're here right now. A big thank you to everybody who's here. And a big thank you to everybody who turned up on Tuesday afternoon. I want to say it was Tuesday for our midweek drama time that we did have in order to maintain our schedule. A video 6 p.m. every single fucking day. Boys! Rocking and rolling. And on tomorrow, it is the web show. It, did anything happen in WoW this week that's worth talking about? No, even Hard to think, man. Really, really struggling. I need a thinking emoji. I'm going to have to get some fresh air for it. Genius. Did anything happen in WoW this week that might be worthy of discussion? Pretty quiet, actually. <laughs> pretty quiet. Pretty quiet. All in all, it's been a pretty... A pretty quiet week, right? It's just been smooth sailing all the way through. Uh, I like that 735 has been renamed to Early Access. I think that was a smart idea. Uh, <laughs> I think that was a very smart idea. Uh, I'm hoping for the release, uh, the release version of the game to come out pretty soon. And all of us who supported the funding for the Kickstarter of World of Warcraft will in some way be recompensed. <sighs> recompensed <laughs> i'm sure it'll all be fine right let's have some drama i need a motherfucking keyboard is there anything else i need to announce uh have we released that patreon video no we'll do it this weekend Let's release the Patreon video. Let's get that done. So there's a video coming out. A new, a new episode of Bait is coming out. I know you're waiting for the legacy. I'm on it. I had two days not streaming uh, to in order to crack on with that, which is why we were filming it today. I think you will really, really be hype about what we did. Because <laughs> it looks pretty good to me on the raw. <laughs> it looks pretty good to me on the raw. It was a silly idea, but I think it's paid off. <laughs> it's paid off. So we'll also have a bait it out for you this week on Patreon. Look out for that, you wonderful people. Um, anything else? And web show tomorrow. That's that's it. Oh, also, oh shit, yeah. Okay, so sorry, sorry. Sell out, sell out. Me, sell out, selling out, selling out. Okay. Uh, TDP from last week. We're giving that away. That's closing on TDP goes out tomorrow. Tomorrow. That's closing tomorrow. So if you want to win this, you fucks. Yeah, sell out, sell out. Yeah, oh, HyperX forever. Mm. Uh, that closes tomorrow. How okay. Do you uh, from watching the TDP that was on 
Thursday? No, Tuesday. Just from watching it. So well, there's a, there's a th fuck off. We sell out shit. It's free crap for you, fuckers. Me. Hi, Prex. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it's Tuesdays. I think it's Tuesdays for that one. We're going to be giving these away shortly. Ha! <laughs> Lies. You can have the HD60s. We're keeping the 4Ks. <laughs> but we use the same box. <laughs> and this is what's next. Whoosh. Oh, look at that. So the uh, the next TDP tomorrow will have the link to win this big light up keyboard uh, from Easy SMX, which is really cool actually. I've been trying it out. It's awesome. Uh, so that's next up. So and then we're starting to move on to the Blizzard stuff, I think, after that, because we have a big old Mate. box of Blizzard stuff to give away. Uh, so there you go. So if you want a keyboard with all lights and stuff on it that's mechanical and got all that shit, TDP tomorrow, and you're gonna be all good. All right. Good, good, good. Wonderful people. All right. Let's uh, tell you the saddest story I read this week. Hey! Let's call it, because it hasn't got a title, because apparently titles are hard. Preach.story.text. Smart. <laughs> the worst guild ever. <laughs> yeah, Metal Gear Solid Five should start on Monday. No, Ground Zeroes. Yeah, but we should finish that during the day I think um, I need a boy and a girl so we'll have Lars can be our boy my man Lars and our girl shall be ooh Sibley I like that it's got a feminista feminista yeah dot text not even in fucking pdf boys I swear to god the standard has dropped Standard. Yeah, we're finishing Peace Walker. Don't worry about it. Uh, the standard is dropped. Dot text. Dot text. I know. All right, are we ready? <clears throat> hey, Micah. Micah? This is not written from an Englishman. I hope all is well with the wifey and the kiddos, and I hope you'll keep it ghosty in a tight hole. Yeah, boys, you with a dick. Sounds pretty tight to me. This, my friends, is a fairly new story. Mmm, okay. This is the story of a mythic husband and wife guild that received the guild as a gift. A gift. The gift of a guild. The gift of a guild. That sounds promising to me. That sounds promising. We need a name for the guild. What are we going to call this husband-wife guild? What are we going to call it? Andy? Huh? What are we calling the husband-wife guild? Husband and wife guild? Yeah. Abort, abort, abort. Abort, abort, abort. Cuz. <clears throat> Cuz. <laughs> <laughs> abort, abort, abort is a guild for socials and semi-hardcore people, friends, who get together to hammer some heroic and the first few bosses in Mythic. Back in Tomb, we killed three Mythic bosses, which was a great achievement for us, albeit at the end of TOS's life. Three bosses current content Mythic is still an achievement, I would say. Uh, so that would have been Tomb. The first Me. guy, <laughs> the Inquisition, Hajatan. What's the name of that first dude? What? I want to say he's called Garothi, but I think it sounds like Garothi, but it's not. What was the name of the first dude in Tomb? Tomb is not Yeah. I don't know. Soak Boy. Didn't drop anything I wanted to write, but <laughs> shit. Soak Boy. The beginning of the soaks. Let's call him that. Soaker the first. Goroth. It is like Gar Garothi, isn't it? Yeah. He was Garothi's the new one, and Goroth's the old one. What? Doesn't sound like it. Fuck off. Sorry, mate. Pleb. <clears throat> we were all looking forward to obliterating and Taurus and becoming Me. a guilt to be worth speaking about on our little, small, low population realm. So, probably Alliance. You fucking want to go? A bot, a bot, a bot was previously led by an amazing, sweet, stable, and overall great person 
But unfortunately, life got in the way. Mate. And all the shit baggage that comes with it. So our guild master realized that real life weighed too much. Let's call her Sarah. She wasn't online as much as she wanted to be. She didn't feel she was doing the guild justice. So she gave guild master to an officer. Sibley. Sibley became our new GM. Sibley was married to the current raid leader, Lars. The perfect marriage. She was the stake. He was the sizzle. Kiss, kiss, bang, bang. Little did we know this was about to fuck everybody in many ways. <clears throat> it would transform the guild into something you would want to take out back and put a bullet in the face before it lays eggs. Good job, Sarah. Classic. A bot, a bot, a bot had one rule for progression team one. A singular rule. You do not pug ahead. Ever. That's it. It's the only rule. End of the week and it's reset tomorrow. We don't fucking care. You do not pug ahead. Want to get gear in a pug curved group to help the guild's progression? To contribute? We don't fucking care care you do not pug ahead the rule was strange to me see our guild runs master looter and i would totally understand if half the raid was locked to a boss and fuck all drops because of it no worries bro but this rule was there for no reason it got so bad that the majority of the progression team asked if they could swap their mains out and have alts as their progression mains instead just so they could get curve on their actual mains and gear our real mains outside of the progression team and use our alts as the guild progression. This was how our guild worked. Now, you might think, oh no, we've had to go all these crazy ways to deal with this. But, let me put it this way. If it's standard practice that pugs are constantly out progressing your guild as the normal, <laughs> maybe there's a problem with the guild itself. Perhaps, maybe, right? If this is like a normal thing, we'll see. Our guild had made its own advertising tagline when looking for new members. I think your chat will appreciate it. In our trade chat calls, we would label ourselves as a social guild with a progressive edge. <sighs> Tempting. So tempting. It's like, it's like the most perfect blueberry mini muffin you could imagine. Hmm. Mm. Which basically meant that Sibley and Lars could be as social and laid back as they wanted to during the raids. But at the press of a button, when they decided they could institute the progression edge, they could transform into their final form. Like Freezer from Dragon Ball Z. Hold on. You know is? No, this sounds weebo though. Dragon Ball Z, you fucker. It's pretty weebo, right? I hate you. Freezer is some sort of berry headed monster. Someone kill him. It's got a berry head. That's a berry head. Right? Uh... Am I wrong? <laughs> Name one thing you like. Ooh, uh, ooh, I like this game. Uh, Skrillex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 
oh, are we offended now? Really? That's where you draw the line. That's where you draw the line. Who? Vegeta. I mean, serious. No. What is wrong with you? I'm not on my life on Vegeta. Vegeta is a... This. Oh, he's a rip-off of that guy, Akira. Oh, you fucking star. He looks like uh, Akira. He's a fucking Saiyan. A what? Oh, God. Cut, cut the feed. <laughs> We're doing it, boys. You making this shit up? Oh, is this the guy who says... Uh, it's only 9,000. Kami Hami Hey, That guy. Is that that guy? There's nothing heavy enough on my desk to throw at you. <laughs> Spoiler alert. I've never seen Dragon Ball Z. I've seen a very rare anime, actually. No, wait, you'll be impressed. It's called Ghost with a Shell. Now, <laughs> it's about. Asshole. You fucking it's asshole. very rare, actually. You might not be able to find it, but it's uh, it's about uh, a robot with right. uh, no arms. Okay. <laughs> you know how I know that's a lie? Because in secondary school, you had Ghost in the Shell on VHS and told me it was your fucking favorite. Is that a sequel? Is it? Don't. It's really good. It's got. Uh, I know it's good. Yeah, it's got Scarlett Johansson in it. Then you just call that ghost is a shell or something like that. Ghost with a shell. Get out. It's good. It's in the. <laughs> I've not even played this game. It's set in China. Fuck with, off. Fuck with off. Scarlett with Johansson's in it. You've, you've demoralised me to no fucking extent in like <laughs> ten minutes. <laughs> okay. All right. Anyway, back to it. All right. <clears throat> They would transform into their final form like Frieza from Dragon Ball Z Saga. With each transformation, they became a shittier and cuntier version of their previous self. Like a really shit but well-wrapped Christmas present from your mother. <laughs> <coughs> now, a bottle, bottle, bottle didn't completely... Didn't completely smash through Heroic Antorus. As easy as we thought we would. Something wasn't quite right. Nobody could put their finger on it. Kingaroth was giving our, mil our guild massive issues. Each time someone died from one of the five purple rolling balls around the platform, Lars, our supreme raid leader, would just sigh down his mic in Discord and say... Breathe, guys. You have to avoid all the balls for the whole fight. If you could do that, that would be great. How many balls do you think you could get at one time? <laughs> if you just avoided them all. <laughs> if, you, I mean, if you didn't soak a single one, how many balls would there be? <laughs> <laughs> there would be a lot, right? <laughs> there would be a lot. There would be a lot of balls. I mean, I, on Mythic, by the end of the fight, there's like six-ish, right? For those of us who've done Mythic, it's about six-ish. And that's with like a pretty good soaking situation going on. You see, Lars believed that touching any of the balls would cause a wipe. So his strategy involved us leaving them up for the entirety of the fight. And him blaming the raid when somebody got hit eventually. Our raid would be thinking. If you could just soak some of the balls, Lars. So we could move. That would be great. But no one ever responded to Lars. Lars did not like being told how to do tactics. He was, in his words... The big man. I beg for the day my ray leader says, listen, I'm the big man. <laughs> the alpha. <laughs> Why would you not want that? <laughs> it's so out of character, it would be amazing. <laughs> I would, I would... Don't you don't you don't the big alpha in your ray? Uh well, if someone said, Listen, if if Pirouin, my ray leader, right. would sit there and go, I have to do a Dutchy accent. Excuse me, boys. I, 
I am the big man. No, you don't refer to yourself as a big man. No, no, no. That's what he says. Oh, he says in the, he's Yeah, the, the raid leader the says, the ra our raid leader Lars, in our story, refers to himself as the big man. So, there you go. <laughs> he's the guy who can say whatever he wants without being questioned. And if anyone would question it, then Sibley, the wife, the guild master, would step in. Start the defense. Even though she was one of our shittiest players. She would die every time on Varimathras to misery. She said she did not like being crowded by other people. This is not a lie, Preacher. But she actually re-rolled her main to a shaman for reincarnate. She denied it, but we all knew that that's why she changed. <laughs> I've... <laughs> You know, that used to be kind of a thing in vanilla. <laughs> I, I know people who did that, but that was 12 years ago, man. Let's let's move forward with our lives. Right, let's move forward. Oh, you think it's scary now? Well, let's watch. <clears throat> we wiped on King Girl Heroic for weeks. For weeks. Until one day, RG, Prox, and some of our other players accidentally staggering the soaking of the balls. Whatever happened, happened. We killed King Girl an amazing feeling. Finally, we can get back to progression. Get the rest of the guild curve. The next boss, of course, Heroic Varimathras. As you can imagine, Sibley was shitting her pants. We killed the trash up to Vary. All is going well, we thought. People are spreading to the fire pulses from the big ad. Big smiles all round. We got this, we all thought. Oh, how naive we were. We stand there in front of Varimathras. There he stands, with his Christmas hat on, his wreath on his horns, the fuck. Discord was popping at this point, more so than it had been in weeks. Everyone excited, chatting, having a good time. Discord quietens down when Lars starts to talk. He tells us to be quiet while he looks up the video on YouTube. I've got to watch the video. <laughs> like every good raid leader does just before the pull time. Lars begins to explain the slight changes from normal this boss has and what each player needs to do. His first announcement is the tanks should stand at 12 and 6 o'clock to the boss. One facing him, and one behind him. All the raid is confused at this strategy. But not to rock the boat, speak up or offend our supreme leader. We go anyway. Pull timer. Five. Four, three, two, pre-pot, one, wipe, 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 wipe. The tank who stood at the six o'clock position is getting misery. How is this happening, Lars says in Discord? I read the ability in the journal. What is going on? The DPSs must be stood in the wrong place, says Lars. Of course, everyone in the chat knows what is going on. few more wipes and a few more at this point i'm starting to rage my main outside of our progression team has tanked this four or five times in our pug group on my six nine sixty guardian druid i know about the tank position on heroic varimathras i know where to stand and that the cleave was not a big deal we all run back to varimathras's room sit and buff up I unmuted my mic, cleared my throat, 
the um, the tanks can uh, stand next to each other as, as long as you're like eight yards apart. You you can avoid the cleave that way. Silence hits Discord. A stunning silence. At this point, the raiders start to whisper me with a flood of lols and shocked emoji faces. No one had tried to alter Lars's strategies before. This was uncharted waters. A raid leader being given advice. Lars did respond. The tooltip says it's a fucking cleave! That's 180 degrees! Silence again. At this point, I can see we aren't going to down this boss without a little bit of a push from the people who have one-shot it before. So I reiterate, you, uh, you, you, you can be eight yards apart. The, the cleave's more of a frontal cone. You, you, you'll fine. If you, if you stand eight yards apart, you'll, you, I promise you, you'll be okay. I have, I've killed this four times on my druid. I knew what was coming. Everyone did. Even though I knew... I wasn't prepared. Illidan was right. Lars comes back. Listen to me. To be honest, it is my raid. And I will lead my raid how I fucking want to lead my raid. Seeing defeat with a tail between my legs, I respond... Whatever you want, Laz. And I put my mic back on mute. At this point, a lot of people in the raid are spamming me. Egging him. Trying to push me to continue explaining, but in my infinite wisdom of knowing a shitty raid leader when I see them, I accept defeat. We continue wiping with the shit tactics that Lars has pulled out of his ass. We sit and we buff up again before a pull. We're stood in front of the boss for two minutes in silence. The only thing breaking the silence is the sound of people occasionally typing over Discord. Everybody whispering each other, lolling in shock, loving the drama. What is going to happen next? Lars comes back to Discord. Guys, one of our tanks has an idea. Tell them what the idea is. The warrior drops three markers in the middle of the room forming a triangle. One to represent the boss and two to represent where the tanks could stand. He proceeds to say the same fucking thing I said 15 minutes ago. I'm laughing. The warrior had explained his new leet tactic that he'd thought of all by himself. At the end of the explanation, Lars chips in. Okay, we can try that, mate. We kill Varamathras. People are messaging me, laughing at what's going on. And before we take our mandatory screenshot for good book, with the boss dead in the background, I couldn't help it. I unmuted my mic. Can I just say that is exactly what I said before you shot me down? How will Lars take this, we wonder? We're waiting. But Lars does respond. It wasn't what you said. It was how you said it. He sounded very condescending and arrogant, and I didn't like it. At this point, the brown nosed, gutless officers in our guild also joined in. I agree, you were very rude. It was how you said it, one said. I dislike how the idea was approached from the start, said another. <coughs> we finished the run, of course, by wiping on Coven for 30 minutes. World class. But Lars did propose a potential four-tank strategy that might have helped next time. The next raid, everyone was on edge. What sort of shit is going to happen today? Everyone was thinking this guild is dying. Well, let me tell you, it was spicy. The guild starts the first run of the reset by killing Agrimar and Argus normal mode for trinket upgrades. Then we're going to start a fresh heroic. It's going good. Argus was a two-shot. Spanked it. Heroic, here we come. First two bosses down. On to high command. Now let me introduce you to another player. Ah, oh, late entry. I think he's only here for a minute, so we'll go with Pledge. Pledge was an officer. And a goddamn fine shammy healer. Pledge wasn't a brown-nosed cook, like the other officers, but a straight shooter. A man for the people. At the high command trash, Pledge would throw down some healing reins, keep the DPS up, and semi-AFK. 
Maybe he was looking at other guild advertisements. Maybe he was writing his guild applications somewhere else. Maybe he's talking to his family. Maybe he's on his phone. Who knows? All we could see that he was just dropping healing rain, a couple of riptides. That's about it. But this angered Lars. Lars had the belief that everyone needed to be on top form for trash. Trash is the hardest part of this raid, don't you know? Lars was not happy with Pledge. Pledge was just healing. He wasn't helping with DPS. Wasn't contributing enough. So Lars decided to take... To make his thoughts public in the guild chat. Pledge! Are you going to help us Me. today or not? Lars is... Uh, Pledge is confuzzled. What's going on? What do you mean? I'm here. Me. Can you not AFK on the trash and fucking help us, please? Says Supreme Leader Lars. At this point, I would like you to take note that no one is coming close to dying. This is high command trash. Pledge is an Imber healer. Almost always. Way out front of his HPS on boss fights and pretty much carries the healing in the raid. At this point, the chat carries on. But in officer chat, we can hear it furiously happening, but we can't hear any words. The majority of the raid has no idea what is going on, what is being said, who's swearing at who, who's a liar, liar, pants on fire. We have no idea, but we know the typing is going on. Lars leaves the raid. I can't fucking deal with this, he says over Discord. Sibley, his wife, and our guildmaster, is crying. She stays in the raid, though. May I just remind everybody right now, we're talking about Antoran High Command Trash. Later, we discover that Lars has had an anxiety attack because of all this, and he's breathing into a bag. We knew this because he immediately updated his Facebook status with this situation about what was happening mid-raid. While Lars breathes into a bag to catch his breath about our trash situation, Sibley's on Discord trying to keep this shit show together, giving off half ass instructions through tears. <clears throat> Pledge <laughs> takes a deep breath, raises his head up high, and types G quit. This was pretty much the end of our guild. I was done. This was the final straw, and I knew it. Other raiders knew it, and a few days later, there was only half the players left. A guild that was formed a few days ago has now passed that guild in realm ranking and boss kills. Moral of the story, if you're a raid leader, don't be a dick. And if you are a dick, be a charming dick, just like Ghosty. I don't know about that. I can't fucking deny that, pal. Maybe... <clears throat> Don't be a raid leader if someone doing what they should probably do can give you an anxiety attack. Maybe. That's just me, though. That's just me, though. I'll have a bag on standby, though, should you be risking this situation. Now, does anybody want to join that guild? Yes? No. Why can't I join these toxic guilds? Probably. Pro Let me tell you why you can't find these guilds. If you joined a guild and people told you to take your main away from the raid team and to pug instead, you would probably... I hope everybody listening to this right now would go, oh, okay, I'm just going to leave this guild. Right? Right? Every single one of you listening to this right now, whether you're live or on YouTube, if you join a guild and they say, take your alt and raid with that and pug with your main instead of joining the progression team. Yeah? Are we good? All right. Let's look at another creeper. So last week, or in fact, was it Tuesday? It might have been Tuesday. Uh, we had a story about a creeper. You might remember it. It was pretty good. Uh, this has inspired the girls. <laughs> this has inspired the girls. God bless you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. The Creeper. 
the girls have started to send us their creeper stories. Who's going to be our creeper? Let's have... Uh, ooh. Uh, Isla. Isla. Thank you very much for your Patreon pledge, sir. I am apologizing for what we're about to use your name for. Preemptively. Preemptively. <clears throat> okay. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready? Here we go. Since my boyfriend decided to get back into WoW when Legion launched, I decided to join him on it. I started in MOP and had a break during WOD for good reasons that she puts in parentheses. When I returned to Legion, I wanted to play the same server as my BF, which was Argent Dawn EU. Made me a demon hunter since I was curious to try out this class. Metal chick. About three months after reaching max level, I got a guild invite to a guild. What are we going to call the guild, Andy? What's it for, mate? It's just a guild. Just a standard guild? It's a standard guild. Ooh, how about uh, Slippery Pauls? Slippery Pauls. I like it. Do you remember Slippery Pauls? <clears throat> Who forgets Slippery Pauls? <laughs> <laughs> I got an invite to a guild named Slippery Pauls. It had a lot of members, achievements, and all. So I thought, why not? Oh, well, look at all the achievements and members this guild has. Amazing! Instantly, when I joined, the guild master messaged me both G chat and in Whisper. His guild chat message was just, uh, welcome with a smiley face. However, when he took it to the pink, things were a little bit different. What he wrote was... <clears throat> Hello. Asterisk. Hugs. Asterisk. XD. Colon. Three. The cringe was strong. But I decided to brush it off. I said hello to him back. And the other guild members who welcomed me. The guild leader, being Isla, seemed to be a nice guy. It's over already. <laughs> he said one thing. Oh... You seem to be a nice guy. No! No! <laughs> Instantly. It's over. Even though he seemed a bit odd. He told me to come and meet him in Goldshire. Which was strange, but I did it. He was a male Wargan BM hunter. With a Pandaren mog. Isla instantly started asking me what my name was. Where I was from, etc. I told him about my... I told him my name. The country that I am from. It turns out that we were neighbours by country. He would eventually ask me if I was a girl or a guy, which I would be a little bit careful with answering. I decided to tell him anyway, to which he replied, Oh, don't worry. I'm bisexual and 90% into guys, so I would never flirt with you. Just, you like 10% of a pussy? 10% of a pussy. Not the fun part. It's not enough for me. Not enough for me. I want a higher percentage. Oh, <laughs> Are we negotiating? <laughs> I'm going to need a bit of cut, a bigger cut. <laughs> <laughs> so she's safe. She's 10% safe anyway, right? We're 10% safe. Here we go. <clears throat> it was kind of a relief, actually. Because, you know, I'm in a relationship and I really didn't want him to flirt with me anyway. So what reassurance <laughs> that we would get. We chai for a bit until I decided to log off and get some sleep. We exchanged Discord IDs and he invited me to the guild's official Discord. Mmm, regulation. The next week was pretty normal, socializing with the guild and the guild leader, just chatting, doing some things in game with them. I did, however, get promoted to officer after just two days. Imagine if it was like a higher percentage, how much quicker do you want to be promoted to office? <laughs> but after a while, I noticed that Isla was flirting with me a bit. He already knew that I was in a relationship, and I tried giving him pretty obvious signals, such as don't flirt with me. 
He responded by... <laughs> See, these women are hard to understand. Like, she said to me, don't flirt with me. What does that really mean? I mean, it must mean flirt with me, right? She's probably playing hard to get. Am I right, fellas? <laughs> <laughs> hey, stop flirting with me. Oh, you foxy mink. <laughs> I, I need to turn this dial up. <laughs> I need to turn this shit up. She's not getting me, I don't think. <clears throat> he kept telling me over and over that he wasn't flirting with me. It's just the way he talks. Ah, shit, dude. I just talk in a very flirty manner, you know? But it was pretty fucking obvious that he was. I decided to ignore it and try and talk to him less. Since despite that, I really enjoyed the guild and the other members. He would repeatedly ask me to join voice chat in Discord, which I did most of the time. Whenever I was in the voice channel, he would constantly yell my character name three times each. It, be kind, of, it kind of became some weird ritual. Here she comes. Wait for it. Wait for it. Luna! 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 There you go. Boom. Nailed it. <laughs> Absolutely nailed it. Okay. <clears throat> Everyone seemed to get thrown off every time he did it, including me. As usual, I just ignored it <laughs> and tried talking to the other members more. This kept going on for about two months, perhaps even three. The constant flirting, which I tried... <laughs> tried ignoring him telling me to come to Golsha just to hang out constantly telling me to join voice chat he would pretty often tell me that i should include more selfies in the guild discord as well a <laughs> little bit of advice what you should do no i say this to every member of the guild i've said this to all the guys as well you should be posting more selfies on discord if you can, right? No, no, it's not just because... No, no, you guys are getting... Just, no, you, I say it to everybody. I, say, I, I just want Discord to be a rolling stream of selfies, right? Yeah? So, if I mean, it's not weird or creepy at all, but you should definitely post more selfies. I'm not jerking off to them. Don't even... 10%. That's not even a tug, right? It's flaccid. It's 10%. I told you earlier, just post more please it made me really uncomfortable to think about what he would do with my pictures <laughs> yeah i did also note that he would flirt with guys and girls as well from the guild they seemed uncomfortable as well <clears throat> eventually he race changed to a male panda and kept the same transmog which made the whole situation even more funny as he was now a fat hairy man <laughs> he's bubbly that's what we call it around here, guys. We're bubbly. We're bubbly. We like it. <clears throat> Whenever someone decided to act inappropriately or act rude towards me or flirt, or try and flirt with me, he would kick them from the guild as quick as he could, sometimes yelling at them, whether it be in voice in Discord or over text in Gchat. I thought it was getting a little weird and way too far. I decided to join the guild for raiding in Tomb of Sargeras one night, even though they had already killed three bosses. I tried getting there as quickly as possible, and one guy slightly complained about it, telling me to hurry up as they were waiting and didn't have a warlock. I don't think it comes as any surprise, but Ayla raged. He started yelling at him that he had to be nice to me, and then he individually took time to say to me, It's okay. You take your time. Oh, he would be at kick from the guild. I reassured Ayla that it was fine. I needed to get stuff from the bank. There is no need to get mad at that guy. He seemed to only calm down because I'd asked him to and kept going on with his constant nice guy attitude towards me. I had to leave before we had even finished the raid and he kept begging me to stay. He said he had something important to tell me after the raid. I told him I really had to go and logged out. When I then went to bed, I checked social media and Discord on my phone before falling asleep. Isla had sent me a message over Discord saying, If you left because I was yelling at that guy, I want you to know that it was because I don't accept that kind of behavior towards you. You are the best member I have in this guild right now, and the only officer actually doing their job. Now get some sleep, cutie. Colon, three, asterisk, hugs, asterisks. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, that's beautiful. I, I, I need you guys to read this. There you go. No, don't cringe. It's love, I think. We should support love. It holds the universe together. Have you guys not seen uh, Interstellar? It binds us all. No. Oh, my heart's fluttering. It is. It is. <laughs> Let's carry on. I uh, ignored this message and went to sleep. A few more weeks passed of this bullshit where I had gotten so annoyed with Ayla's behavior that I was just going to leave the guild. My plan was to get exalted, get the last guild mount that I needed, and leave. I had made a friend from the guild. Ooh. Who's the friend? Who should we have as the friend? I'm a friend. I'm a friend. <laughs> right. Who's the friend? We're going to go with Sandman Slims. Because I don't believe they're in it for long. Don't worry, Patreoners. Let's go with Slims. I was going to call it Slims. All right. <clears throat> I had made a friend in the guild called Slims. We had talked about how odd Isla was acting towards me, to which he agreed it was very strange behavior, considering I'm in a relationship that he's very well aware of. One day, though, I finally had enough. Ayla had sent me another cute message, and this time I didn't tell him to stop nicely. I was upright to him and told him, Ayla, you're... M oh. Ayla, you're making me incredibly uncomfortable when you talk to me this way, and it's starting to annoy me. I'm not going to ask you nicely anymore. One thing you do not do, girls, is tell a, ni uh, tell a nice guy the truth. Don't you know anything? Are you, fucking nuts? are you fucking crazy? These guys are mental. <laughs> they are mental. Isla became furious. He started spamming me in whisper. All caps. Oh yeah? Well, I have done so much for you. I have defended you from these guys in Discord who are just looking to get your pussy who have been rude towards you, and this is what I get in return. You're a fucking bitch. I hope your boyfriend dumps you so you'll all be miserable. 10%. Imagine if it was like 50-50, or God forbid, 100%. Imagine. Imagine. You owe him sex at this point, girl. Just lie down. Look how nice he's been to you. You fucking kidding me? Don't know what you girls got your attitude recently, but if I hold a door open for you, that's a beach. A fucking beach. And if I shout at somebody on Discord, that's sex. Those are the rules. Those are it's not my fault. That's just the rules, right? That is the rules. He blocked me on Discord. Kicked me from the guild Discord as well. I logged into WoW and managed to write something in guild chat before he kicked me. I have decided to leave the guild unless Ayla kicks me first. I would suggest you guys do the same. If you're tired of the way he acts, for the people here that still want to keep contact with me, just give me a whisper. And I G quit after sending it. After about 15 minutes, Slims messaged me and told me that Ayla was talking about me in the guild chat. He told me that he made up things about me. He told the guild how my boyfriend almost broke up with me and that I tried to be with Ayla instead, but he kept denying me because he doesn't support cheating. <laughs> Why did she leave Ayla? Fucking bitch, man. She was trying to suck my dick all the time. Got infuriating. I had to do something, lads. I had to do something. She wouldn't leave me alone. I had them fucking psycho eyes. You know how it is. You know how it is, don't you, boys? You know what I mean? And I told her, I'm like, 10% into girls. I'm like, barely even interested in you. You know what I mean? You got a nice face and that, but whatevs. Whatevs. So I had to bin her because she was doing me nothing, right? This was <laughs> fucking smooth, boys. Smooth. I almost burst into laughter when he told me. Almost feeling bad for the guy for trying so hard. 
Slim's made a final message in the guild chat as well and quickly left. I also found out not too late about 400 members left overall. We formed a little guild together with some of the ex-members of Slippery Pauls. <laughs> some of the new members who used to be in Slippery Pauls would also tell us about how Ayla would constantly flirt with them, sending weird emotes like <clears throat> asterisk hugs, asterisk, asterisk cuddles, asterisk. <gasps> I wonder what you have to do to get cuddles. Shit. And even, wait for it, whoa, pop your brakes, kids. Some people even got asterisk kiss, asterisk. How'd you get that? I want the kiss one. wonder what you have to do to get the kiss one. You probably got to give up that ass. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. That's, that's, that's a good one. If you can get that one. You should know that Ayla was 21. Even though that guild died after about six months and it was only social, it was still a much better guild. The, oh, the current guild died after about six months and was only social. It was still a much better guild than Slippery Paws. At least we didn't have any insane white knights in this one. Even now, nine months after the whole drama basically ended, Ayla still messages me in-game. Sometimes follows me around <laughs> and makes fake accusations in trade chat about how clingy I can be. He also managed to get a hold of the Discord server I'm in and started messaging me there. I have no idea how he knew I was in it or who gave him the link to it. He did get kicked very quickly after harassing me and another girl on the server. Now it seems like all he does is sit in Goldshire all day and flirt with other girls from his guild. It doesn't seem to have changed one bit since he's trying to start a drama with me again. I of course ignore him as best I can even though I do find it a bit annoying. How he follows me around in game wherever I go. I guess it's something I'll have to deal with since I've reported it to a GM with no answer. But this experience at least makes for a little story for you. Or so I've been told. Thank you, Mike and Andy. It would be amazing to see us on Drama Time. I love the show. Keep up the good work. Hey, it's your own fault. You replied to a whisper. That's sex. Owed. Pay up. Yeah? Pay up. <laughs> pay. You gotta pay the piper. You gotta pay the piper. He took the time to send a whisper. That means he probably had to like right click your name, maybe even slash W type your name, right? Then a whole sentence of words. Gotta pay the piper. Gotta pay the piper. <laughs> that was amazing, 10 out of 10 story. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, ooh, we got eight minutes. Shizzle. The wife's gonna come home. Oh, Emma is streaming tonight. I should have announced that, but I'm a terrible husband, so there you go. Gonna type that in. Let that sink in for a second. Eight out of ten, nobody got laid. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, let's have Tammons. My boy Tammons. And uh, Ashley. We're having Ashley. Mm. All right. You ready? <laughs> What's uh? We need a guild name, Andy. Huh? Guild name. Guild name. Give me a background, quick. One piece of information. Doesn't particularly matter. All right then. Who gives a shit, Ink? It's too long, but we'll go with who gives. Uh, don't want to be demonetized, so we'll say who gives a cunt flap. What is love? Ink. <laughs> All right, then. <coughs> Greetings from Austria. To give you some context, I should start by telling you a little bit about myself. I am 18 and a girl. 18 girl Austrian. Approved. Nice. The things you can do with a sausage. Lederhosen, though. With my horseman. Not called Heidi. Really? I know. What a waste. Disappointing. Loser. <laughs> and I've been playing WoW since Kata, since my parents wouldn't let a girl play any earlier than that. As a girl, though, you would think I've seen a fair share of drama, but it's not been the case. Ha! You've not put any selfies online. Big mistake. Put one selfie online, unleash the drama. We need it for entertainment, right? So... 
if you go ahead and put... There's actually... Actually, the drama story before this has got some good advice for you. Really good 10, 10 out of 10 advice. It definitely involves selfies of some description. So there you go. Until this little story, un story unfolded. One day I'm doing mythic... No, base mythic arcway. Then suddenly I get a whisper. Do you need a guild? Smiley face. Considering the character who was whispering me was a variation of Big Dick DPS. <laughs> I probably should have seen a big red flag there. But in my stupidity, I thought, you know what? Why not? And so I joined. I like the way so many of you send me drama stories. Know you're making a mistake, but go ahead and do it anyway. You know? Cool. It did soon turn out, though, that this guild was not the guild I thought it would be. After close inspection, it turned out that the guy who invited me was, in fact, an alt of the guild leader, Tamans. Flicking through the guild information, I spotted a very peculiar rank. Mummy. A rank that was just a name. What's going on? I soon found out that the person that ranked with that rank belonged to Tommen's mother. I know Tommen's is not a kid. He's 22. Even though this is a little weird, I just accepted it. Maybe his mum liked to play well. Can't be bad. What just happened? By this time, I've been in the guild for a few days. I'm on Skype with them regularly. They're nice. Everything's fine. One fateful day, I want to deposit something in the guild bank. Only to see... The guild bank is the most horrific, disorganized, the horror of looking at it, Preacher. It was disgusting. Since I was on Skype with him, I asked Tommins whether I could sort it. Anybody ever felt that way? Andy, do you keep what? your guild bank in proper, clean fashion? Oh, I don't believe. Really? Yeah. Does that, is that a thing? Like the guild bank's not organized enough? To the point where it's like actually upsetting me and I need to fix this right away. Really? Oh my god, that's crazy. <laughs> As does. Jesus Christ. I've organized a few guild bags in my time. <laughs> oh, no way. That's crazy. Your character has been promoted to officer. What? Was what I was thinking. In reality, I just said uh, thanks and then sorted the guild bank out. On this faithful day, I pretty much became the only officer of the guild. I would add events, put stuff in the guild bank, help people in Mapleur in case they ever needed a healer. Oh, doing God's work, this girl. Some people have told me that I was pretty much running the guild at this point. Oh, thank you. But then the Discord fiasco. While our guild did have a Discord server, it wasn't used much since neither Tommins or Ashley liked it. Ashley is, of course, mummy. So basically, it was usually me and three of my friends. We would occasionally do some mapla, have some fun while we're at it. One day, the four of us were using chat on Discord. Somehow, we ended up talking about the problems we thought the guild had. Now, this is what I said, and chat could be the judge of what happens next. <clears throat> One thing that was said in the Discord chat. I'm having a bit of a hard time as the only active officer. I need some help. Another thing I said. I had to postpone the normal run on th to Thursday because Ashley wanted to pug Heroic on Wednesday, which I had to explain the get to the guild as I put up a thing on the calendar. <clears throat> and the third thing... There's no use being on this Discord server if the person with admin is never online. Those were the three things that were said. That's it. None of these statements were said in a disrespectful manner, but rather just facts during a conversation. Due to point number three, that there's no admin for our Discord server, we decided that we should probably make a new server just so we could create rooms, invite people to it, things like that. Remember, nothing mean-spirited was said. All four of us were very active guild members. Four of the eight people who raided, two healers, two tanks, I was one of the two officers, and one of, the friends, one of my friends had been a good friend of Tommen's for quite a while. 
Now let that sink in. So now imagine my surprise when I suddenly was kicked from the guild together with the three people, all innocent bystanders, whose only crime was to have a Discord account and been involved in a chat. Tommins told his friend that they'd all been kicked because they had been talking, and I quote, smack about the guild on Discord. That's right, people. Somebody was talking smack. You're out of it. Smack. Mad smack about all of you. Jesus Christ. Now, the thing is, Tommins definitely hadn't read what we had said. He had only got online since we had been kicked. He came on after. So he could remove us from the Discord server as well. That's what had happened. Turns out, Ashley, Mummy, had come online and looked at the chat log. I know for a fact she didn't read most of it, as she was the only one there for a very short time. And right after she was offline, we were kicked. Stranded and alone, the survivors founded a new guild. After eliminating great names. <coughs> These were the potential guild names for the new guild, by the way. Tripping on Dreamleaf. Let me see if any of you guys want to... Uh, Join this one. Tripping on Dreamleaf. Mom's least favorite. <laughs> we settled on... We're just going to go with who gives a cunt, Inc. <laughs> and our happy little guild now, Draenor server. But to this day, we wonder, did we go too far? Did we offend them in our own little way? Should we have said things differently? Thank you for reading our little story, Preacher. Have a nice day. Colon. P. Which is this one. No, you were fine. <laughs> you were totally fine. But you should have left. There was a lot of red flags. Let's go back to the beginning. You joined a guild with the invite from a guy who had a name like Big Dick DPS. Now, I have to be careful. There are some very strange names in my guild, for sure. <laughs> Mentioning none of them. But still, not a good... Probably not the person doing the inviting. Probably not the person doing the inviting, right? Once you saw the mum rank... Can we judge all guilds with who have a mum rank? Is it wrong that mum wants to play some WoW? Does she deserve her own rank? Andy, your thoughts? What's up, mate? Your mum wants to play some WoW. Does she deserve Me. her own rank? She can have whatever rank she wants as long as she doesn't play the same fucking server. <laughs> Different, yeah. yeah. You have whatever rank you, rank you want in whatever guild you're in on whatever server you're on. <laughs> Uh, mum, it's a it's a red flag that mum gets her own special rank. I don't think you want to be there. There's no need for that at all. You, you went down a dark road. You are, I guarantee, because you got that promotion to officer and you started putting um, peace bloom in the bank and shit, that you felt committed and like you owed the guild something, especially when you started healing some mapla. You don't need to feel that way. You don't, just because you got an officer rank in a guild after a day, you should probably leave if that happens. And all honestly, in all situations. And then you'll be fine. Ladies and gentlemen, that brings to the end of this week's drama time. But of course, Emma will be joining you in about three hours-ish. Something like that. Uh, I don't know what she's up to. I don't know what you guys are telling her to do. You guys are all leading her down a dark, 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 dark road. A dark road. Uh, but I'm going to let... I'm going to let her ride it out with you guys. You guys can teach her all the things you want to do and see what happens from there. Uh, and tomorrow, of course, is the web show where hopefully we'll find something to talk about. I just wish WoW would have something interesting happen. We'll just have to wait and see, guys. We'll just have to wait and see. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> we'll just have to wait and see. I really hope... i am just be paying attention to MMO Champion by the hour to see something happen that we can take some notes for. Other than that, love you all. Thank you for a tremendous week. Thank you all. Thank you all. I'll see you on Monday if you're not here over the weekend. So hopefully you'll have a good weekend. Bye-bye. 8 p.m. 
as it says at the bottom of the strum in the scrolling thing, it is at 8 p.m. tomorrow. So it is 27 hours from right now. For you live audience, 27 hours from right now. See you later, boys. Bye-bye. Say bye. Andy. Yes, mate. Say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.